Ho 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 and Merry Christmas everyone. It's Izzy. Today I'll be sharing with you the magic of Christmas right here on Juice TV. After all, it is the season to be jolly. First, we'll be laughing and dancing to the South Bank Christmas show. Then, we'll learn some holiday Auslan with our friend, Twinkle David. We'll have some fun making gingerbread houses. And pretend we're in the Northern Hemisphere and go ice skating. As the official host of Christmas Joy, I'm here to answer your questions. The first thing I love about Christmas is going to look at the Christmas lights. They're super sparkly and super pretty and they fill me with joy. The second thing I love about Christmas is spending time with my friends. We've already built our gingerbread houses and coming up soon is Friendsmas. My third thing is watching Christmas movies. Nothing better than sitting on the couch with friends and getting into the holiday spirit. My third favourite Christmas film is Home Alone. I love the pranks, I love the action and there's a little bit of Christmas in there. My second favourite is Elf. Buddy is so dorky and it's hilarious. Santa's coming to town! Santa! Oh my god! My number one is The Grinch, the animated one. I love it because The Grinch found his heart for Christmas. Oh. I'd buy Santa a voucher for a spa day, because boy, treat yourself. <laughs> The best gift I've ever received is a Dyson hair straightener. Cause girl, these locks need taming. Wow. Yes, of course, Santa can find you anywhere. It doesn't matter if you're home or in hospital, as long as you're on the nice list, you will be found. Wow. Speaking of Santa, I heard he's downstairs. Let's go find him. It's the most wonderful time of the year. It's Christmas, Christmas time. time! At Christmas, we decorate our Christmas tree. We make Christmas cookies. And watch Christmas shows. Today, we're going to do one of those things. The tree is already decorated. And it's too early for cookies. Let, let's watch, watch a, a Christmas, Christmas show! <laughs> The South Bank Christmas Show has brought the show to the hospital so all the kids who can't leave hospital don't miss out. It's night before Christmas, but chaos has hit Sarah's workshop. Let's watch the elves say the show season. <laughs> Jingle bells. Santa and his elves has, have gone missing. Let's, Let's go, go find, find them. them. Where, Where is, is Santa? Santa, wake up! Well, hello there. I just thought I'd have a little sleep for a second. Santa, do you sing and dance with the reindeers all the time? Well, we do have a lot of fun in the North Pole, but this is something special that we do every now and then. It is good fun. Do you like singing and dancing? Yes. Yes, we all do. Santa, where are your elves gone? Well, actually, there's a special elf call that we use. It is... Elfie, Elfie, Elfie! What do you think? Shall we give it a try? 
Shall we do it on the count of three? Yep. Are you ready? One, two, three. Elfie, Elfie, Elfie! We heard our name. Mm-hmm. Oh. Do you pull any pranks on Santa? Well, you know, Alice, one year I did put a whoopee cushion on Santa's sleigh. Made quite a funny noise, didn't it, Santa? Is that a whoopee cushion? Yes, it was. <laughs> Have you ever put yourself up as a present? I nearly did today, Look. wrapping myself in boats. And then I had ribbons on my feet, wrapping paper on my body. So you nearly didn't see me today, but luckily they all helped me. We found you, we found the elves, but where's Rudolph? Is that him over there? Were you surprised when your nose glowed? Rudolph said he was very excited when his nose glows and he felt super special. Santa, do you have any special Christmas messages to, um, all the kids in the hospital? Oh, yes. Have a wonderful time. It's the most wonderful time of year. Hug your families and much love to you all. Yeah. <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> Thank you, South Bank Christmas Show, for coming to the hospital. It's beginning to feel like Christmas. The South Bank Christmas Show is on at South Bank until December 23rd. Merry Christmas, Christmas everyone! What a special show. Thank you for bringing your Christmas magic to the hospital. Speaking of Christmas magic, look how amazing these decorations are. Thank you to all the staff who put in so much effort to bring Christmas to the wards. Speaking of spreading joy, we can say phrases like Happy Holidays and Merry Christmas. Here on Juice TV, we want to include everyone, especially our friends with hearing impairment. So let's check in with our friend, Twinkle David, and learn how to sign a Christmas message. Hi everyone, I'm Twinkle David, and this is my sign name. And who is this? This is Belle. She's my interpreter and my voice. I use Auslan to communicate. And I want to help you guys spread some yeah. Christmas magic. Let's learn together how to sign wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Wishing you a Merry Christmas and a happy new year. Wishing you a Merry Christmas and a happy new year. Wishing you a Merry Christmas and a happy new year and a happy new year. Wishing you Merry Christmas. We are really feeling the Christmas magic. Great job, everybody, and keep on spreading the Christmas joy. Merry Christmas, Belle. And Merry Christmas, Twinkle David. And Merry Christmas to you all. <laughs> It was amazing to learn some Auslan and a new way to spread some Christmas joy. 
I've shared why I like Christmas, but I'd like to hear what others in the hospital like about Christmas too. So let's find out. So what do you love about Christmas? I like spending time with my family and decorating the Christmas tree together. Do you have any favourite decorations you'd like to put on the Christmas tree? Um, I like to put snowflakes on it and baubles. Jeanette, what do you love about Christmas? What I really love about Christmas, I think, is the fact of everybody's together, it brings families together and the smiles on everybody's faces and just the joy of people and watching children and everybody in the family open presents and be together. Christmas? Yes, I love Christmas. I like Christmas. I like my Christmas shop. Do you love opening presents? Yes, I love presents. My family's presents is a game. Do you like Christmas movies? I watch a green. I love it. Do you like the wood decorations? I see my tree, I see Christmas lights, I see lots of presents, I love Christmas decorations. I think there's too many Christmas decorations. Oh. That's going to be many Christmas. So Dean, what do you love about Christmas? Oh, I hate Christmas, but I just love wrapping presents. <laughs> watched a Christmas show, we've had some Christmas messages, we've learnt why others love Christmas. Now it's time to eat something tasty. Hi, I'm Ruby. Welcome to Chocker Block. It's just like the block, but all the property we make, you can eat. Today on the Chocker Block, we're at Ridges for a Christmas themed project. We're building a dwelling out of baked goods flavoured with ginger, traditionally referred to as a gingerbread house. Hi Tammy, so what's the project today? Uh, we're working on some gingerbread tiles at the moment that you guys are going to be able to take home and then later we're going to work on this massive house behind us and cover it with lollies. So how long did it take you to make the house? It's taken us a few weeks now to build and to make all the gingerbread um, and then one whole day to actually assemble it. Well, we were sitting over it, like in the couch area and we were having estimates. I thought it was a month and my brother thought it was a year. It was a year of planning. There's definitely a lot of planning involved um, and weeks and months of actually baking in between our normal day. Do you ever get that feeling that it's so tempting that you just want to take something off it and eat it? <laughs> Sometimes we definitely eat a lot as we go, so uh, I eat a lot of sugar. <laughs> so how much sugar is on that house? <laughs> well, on the icing alone, there's 120 kilos of icing sugar, so quite a lot. <laughs> the gingerbread is about 170 kilos of dough. We're done with our tiles, now let's get ready to decorate this massive house. take you through our designs. So there is an R for the name of the hotel which is Ridges. Um, there's Elf because this is who's been making the house and there's some lovely Merry Christmas that someone's done um, and Elizabeth here is doing some more decorations um, as we go along decorating this house. So Elizabeth what have you been doing? I've been just icing and eating the lollies and putting them on. Okay, so what's been your favourite part of this? Decorating and eating. Elves, eat your heart out. That's how the professionals decorate a gingerbread house. 
until we build something for our bellies again, I'm gone. See you later. Wow, those gingerbread houses look delicious. Whenever I see them, I think about colder parts of the world. Here in Australia, we spend Christmas in the sun, at the beach, or in the park. So some of our juice superstars decided to get rugged up and go somewhere colder. Hi, I'm Malia and mm -hmm. this is my little brother. Hi, my name is Bo and I'm seven years old. My name is Mike and I'm six years old. I'm so excited as long as Christmas! Ho, 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 ho! Merry Christmas! Christmas looks different in every family around the world. Every year in our family we get dressed up ready for a Christmas. Christmas photos. As soon as we saw these Christmas outfits this year, we fell in love with them and got them straight away. We are Danish, so we celebrate Christmas, Christmas Eve with our family. I just like to play with Rala. It's always so fun in Australia, so my family just goes in the pool for Christmas Day. Today we're really excited to bring you on a really cool experience. <laughs> Penguin to the penguin. Woo! I'm looking forward to, to be free, but I have my penguin here to help me. Ready, Bo? Let's go. better than what I thought I would have done. I haven't fallen over yet. Have you fallen over yet, Bo? Yeah, but once. That's really good. I decided to give the penguin a go and it's given me a lot more confidence. How cold is it out here? It's just a little bit cold. Just a little bit cold? I think it's freezing. I think it's a little bit cold. It was hard at the start, but then it got really easy. And I've done step, step, glide and penguin feet. And Rosie's been helping me out to stay up. I say it makes me feel happy. Because it actually feels really happy for me. So I just think it's really happy for me. really cool experience and after I started using the penguin I started feeling a lot more confident. How was your experience Bo? It was good. When I was on the penguin I went super fast. Mark how do you think you went? I think you did really well. I I went at a race with my sister and I really was first. That's really good. I was really brave and I went on the ice whip about my penguin. How did you go, Mahalia? I went really good. I am, it was tricky at the start, and my dad's gonna be so proud of me because he couldn't feel well today and he had to stay home, so I'm sad. But I think he'll be good. That's good. 
It's been feeling like a lot like Christmas. A big thank you for Ice World for having us. Merry Christmas, everyone! Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas! What a holly and jolly Christmas episode. To all of our friends spending Christmas in hospital this year, remember, the Christmas spirit is wherever you are. And I hope this holiday season brings you comfort and joy. Remember to keep slang, and Merry Christmas, everyone. Thank you.